Good afternoon guys, it's Diane, it's one o'clock I believe um, and it's Tuesday the 19th. So I want to wait and see if anybody is online because I want to check to see whether you can hear me. So if anybody's there, um, let me know if you can hear me. My neighbour um, has just decided that he wants to wash his big massive boat which hashtag rude so I don't want to compete with the motor of a huge boat outside so if anybody is there Penny Penny can you hear me hello Trish can you guys hear me because I'm gonna compete with this fabulous boat outside you can hear me okay and I just want to say my neighbor with this massive boat has never invited me to go on it so so here we are um, I've got my coffee um, and for some reason I have a notebook today with a pen because for some reason I have it in my head I'm gonna take attendance I I, I don't know I don't know where my head is sometimes but anyway I desperately wanted to be organized hey December how are you so I wanted to be organized and I told everybody at the beginning of the year I'm gonna do a Facebook live at least once a week and I was doing really well until last week and then I just didn't come on and so basically what comes out of my mouth don't believe it really I mean don't so let me just put my coffee down For some reason I want to clutch onto my notebook yes Billy's here no Trisha hmm. anyway um so let me just do a little bit of um my notes I've been taking notes so my new piece which is here um hi Jamie my new piece is here and this is like tease just doing a corner here um I worked on this last week which is probably the reason why I never did any Facebook lives because I was in my garage literally for the week painting in my dressing gown because I don't paint like this seriously I don't even look like this really on a regular day I mean I'm just some reason I think I'm a star now because I'm on Facebook live anyway so I was working on this piece my vintage um, radio cabinet I think for a week I mean it literally um, I just wanted to do a really good piece and my motivation behind it um, hi Camellia my motivation behind it was my French trip which I talked to you about um, well not last week the week before that I am doing a painting class in France in September and it's gonna be a flea market shopping week and I'm just gonna buy ridiculous stuff that I'll never use um, but I'm gonna be teaching um, image transfer I'm gonna be teaching a little bit of blending and um, it's going to be open to I think six people and we really wanted to keep it um, a small group because you know if you're going to be with people for a week you have to get along with them so you know me being um, from Yorkshire and being um, naturally anti-social let's keep the numbers down so all the invoices um, have been sent out to all the people who want to come um, now if all the invoices come back with the deposit um, that means that the trip is full that there's no more spaces so if anybody is out there and you have the invoice I would encourage you to get your deposit um, sent because we can't hold spaces um, just because it's such a small group um, so again it's September 10th to the 17th we're gonna meet in Paris we're gonna just do things that French people do um, which is basically here the English 
So anyway, so that's what um, this stupid notebook is all about. So I don't forget the dates. Um, yeah, so if you have the invoices, send it in because I really, I want this trip to be a huge success and I want to get to know all the people who are going prior to us meeting in Paris. So I'm very excited. Um, I wish you could go, but you have a wedding at that time. Cancel the wedding. Anita, prioritize, would you? So my, again, I will go back and you know where I'm like, I just have thoughts in this little head of mine and I can't keep focus. Um, so um, Anita is already saying that she's gonna cancel the wedding that she's going to because she wants to come and play with me. Anita is a smart girl. So inspiration um, about my vintage um, radio caveat cabinet now I bought this on I think I bought it on Craigslist either Craigslist or Facebook market and um, I thought it was going to be much smaller most of my radio cabinets are quite small this one is big um, which was a real nice treat for me um, but I wanted to Again, going back to my love of patina and just not being able to do simple stuff, um, I wanted to use a French painter. And um, I didn't want to do Monet. And the reason I don't want to do Monet is because we're going to go to Monet's garden um, on our trip. And so I am keeping Monet off the list. I'm not doing him until I'm in France because hopefully I can get more inspiration and these things. Oh, I'm just so happy. So um, the French painter that I picked, I've actually used him once before and I did a, um, I think it was called a blind china cabinet thing. And I did it with the Madonna and John the Baptist. And it, it was just a beautiful painting, my God. Um, so the name of the painter, and I hope I'm pronouncing it right, because seriously, I've, I've spelled it out phonetically. It's phonetically. And he's William Adolf Bogaro. Bogoro. I think I'm spelling it correctly actually and if I'm not he's dead so he's not gonna know it's just between me and you so I used Wiesel paints which um, I started to use a lot actually for the last few um, maybe like a month or so so um, yeah so are you ready to see it hands up who wants to see it now let me try and, um, excuse me while I work this tripod, but look, 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 can you see, there you go, hey Kathy, how are you, look, isn't it just fabulous, I just, oh my god, I love it so much, so if you, um, if you follow my page, you will see that I posted, um, I'm gonna share, can I come in? I posted this radio cabinet, um, kind of like in, in stages. I, I posted it um, when I bought it and I posted just as I was doing the image transfer. Now I'll just do some close up so you can get good gander. And these, both of them, are different depictions of Cupid and Psyche. And um, I know Ashley Wright is not, I mean, gorgeous. And so like my inspiration for the images that I use, first of all, they have to fit the actual piece. I mean, I'm not gonna be, putting um actually let me just get back on camera this is my camera time 
Um, oh, look, another halo. Um, I'm not going to put pictures of Frozen on something like this. It, it has to be something that would look original to the piece. And I can spend absolute hours um, looking through the prints that I've got, looking online, seeing where I can find. Um, and the thing that I know um, it has to, it, how do I say this? So when I look at a picture on painting, I have to have that kind of like pull to keep going back. And so I innately know that's the painting I have to use because once I see it, nothing else is going to replace it. You know, it's one of those things where um, it just, it pulls you in. And so these two, um, my God, Cupid and Psyche, come on. So all the trim here is um, silver leaf. And when I first did it, it was like blingy. And my husband's like, oh, that's a lot of silver leaf. And I'm like, it's not gonna look like that. It's gonna be you know, toned down and um, fabulous. So the colors, um, well, let me show you the inside because I put the paint colors in here. But, so, well, let, let me just tell you, when I open this, you will know there is no back to it. I mean, this used to be a radio cabinet. And for me, I hate stuff like that. I mean, I love painting, but the actual repair of stuff, I, oh, I know, I, ugh, yuck. So I still have to refinish um, the insides. And look, there's no back. The back is missing. At some point, I will put a back on there. But this is the piece that, look, this is a draw now. How awesome is that? It's actually like a secretary. And I think while I'm gonna paint the doors and the back, I think I'm gonna leave this and this as it is. And it says um, Federal Orthosonic, Orthosonic, sorry. Um, and it's actually, you pull it out and it's a little drawer down there. It's like the coolest thing. So I will take out the dowels up here, um, put a back on it, and then just, um, I think I'll just put the furniture solve on it. But the colors I use, oh, let me tell you, these babies, these are some serious paint brushes. Um, the lemon verbera. I've just I just got that. Um, this one is Riotous Rain, and it's ugh. if you could smell my house right now, I actually have a candle burning. Um, so the furniture salve is like gorgeous. It's absolutely. I love it. I um, one of my dresses got picked up. Um, to be delivered in Ohio today and this morning I went through all the insides of the drawers and used the is it the tea flower I think that's my favorite one I use that just to deodorize the wood so Klingon brushes I use those oops I used now look how messy I am I'm just I'm I'm a joke this is Vintage Duck Egg, which is a really, really pretty colour. So I use that. And again, I tend to um, blend my paints. I, I really don't use um, just, you know, one layer of one colour. This is grey linen, which is really very soft grey. And... Um, apparently this is their bestseller, Abyss, which is a really nice colour. Where I do, look at that, isn't that lovely? I do want to try the um, Prussian Blue. If anybody's tried, 
um, Prussian blue. Can you let me know and send, show me piece? This is the first time that I've used um, their glazes. I use glazes probably on all of my pieces. Did I send it to you, Camilla? Oh, I wish I had it done. It's going to a bridal shop. It's my Primavera piece. Look, that's a really soft brown. Um, so I used a ton of that. Actually, um, while I mix these paints together, I believe I used this over the entire piece. So, um, fabulous. And I'm going to take pictures today um, and then, then I'll post them and I want to see if you can get all three of us in. Cupid, Psyche and this middle-aged Yorkshire woman. Why not? Why not? So, um, so this is it. So I did lots and lots of texture because um, that's what I do. And again, it literally, it took me a week to do it. Um, which is, I can't even, you know, if this was a custom piece, I don't know even how I would charge because if, um, if you, I don't charge by the hour because that's ridiculous. Um, and I posted something on my Facebook page about um, how people think, you know, you, you charge too much or, you know, but you're charging really for your, I want to say expertise or at least your knowledge. So finally for me, um, this year I'm, you know, as I'm kind of going from doing painting to sell, I'm now going to be working. I don't know why I'm still holding my pen. Um, I'm going to start doing the teaching, which I think I'm ready. I think I can kind of, um, I'm confident enough in, um, hey Julie, I think I'm confident enough in my technique now to be able to share it with, with people, but um, this piece is crazy. I love it. I, re I You know, the idea of me having to put on a back. And having to go to like Home Depot and say, oh my gosh, could you cut this? Because I don't have a saw. Um, different price points for different levels. I think that's true. I really do. Um, and like I'd said that, yeah, you know, if you want a very simple finish, you know, there are a thousand people um, who can give you that finish absolutely and they're they're going to be glad of it for me doing a really simple finish would actually be harder than doing this because my natural instinct now is to work with textures and you know i'll do two i'll do two coats of just regular paint and that's my base you know after two coats I'm just beginning and that's what I love to do is like the finish work. This flipping silver leaf took me a long time because I had to do the silver leaf and then I had to do a patina over it um, and it took a long time because I don't like bling bling. Um, favorites of the ones. So Penny and let me read what Penny's saying. Interesting. Some of the colors I selected as favorites are the one used here. See, I, I, you know, honestly, blues and greens, um, I love. I need to stop loving them as much as I do. And I have a piece like um, it's a Dropwell Vanity that I've had for, gosh, at least over a year, and I did a French polish on it which was beautiful and no one has bought it 
you know and I thought for sure someone is gonna um, love my French polish and no they didn't so I'm thinking I might paint it and if I do I'm gonna go if you know wise owl um, if you know there's a beautiful color called blush and there's one called begonia I believe and I'm thinking that might be a really nice combo we'll see um, I have a custom piece coming up so um, that's going to take priority I think but I just wanted to share this piece because um, I'm so inspired about this French trip that and it's exciting you know that oh my god I'm gonna be teaching people people actually want to come to France with me and we can just play with products I think that would be a blast um so yes I'm I'm reading here like Ooh, I need my glasses so thank you for coming on um, if you or watching this in real time um, I thank you you know one o'clock on a Tuesday but you know I have to do it when no one is at home otherwise um, I'm not gonna be videotaping myself talking to you all and my family is gonna be looking over in the corner so and if you're doing replay then let me know um, feel free to share this video because you know I want to get my I want to get my pieces known I want people to know that um, painting furniture is good it kind of like opens up all these different you know opportunities that you can make furniture into pieces of art so that's it if you need any um, info again on the products that I use let me know I will put everything down in the comments um, and I will I think that's it I will finish my coffee um, I will be posting this for sale I might just post it without a back because that's how lazy I am like I, I, I will do the painting I'll do the texture I will just do the finishes but the woodworking part I have no interest um, and I really I'm I don't know we will see we will see maybe Home Depot guy will be nice to me and just say just give me this measurements and I will cut it for you because sometimes acting dumb works I have found that um, so yeah so thank you I will hopefully um, come online again maybe this week um, Leslie did your image transfer as one no they're they're two separate paintings so I did each side um, and originally what I was gonna do I was um, going to paint the the inside and then do some kind of design scroll work um, and then I realized that because of the wooden details it wouldn't look kosher but um, to get one of the reasons why you know you picked the right piece is the proportions on these paintings to the proportion of the door works perfectly I mean I had to kind of rearrange um, the image a little bit but um, I seriously could not have asked it to be um, a better end result so I will um, I'm gonna go off I'm gonna take some photographs of this get some close-ups so you can see the different textures I have pieces like the side panels and the panels here um, I've done it so it looks a little bit like um, Italian plaster so it's very um, lots and lots of texture so again I thank you 
Um, have a wonderful day and I will talk to you again later. Thank you. Bye.